Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. If you're new around here, smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, because you join me in the 2005 Honda NSX, the Bogo Standard one. We are on our way to Edinburgh Castle to go and pick up the Honda NSX R GTR. Nope. Honda NSX R GT. I keep having the urge to say GTR when it's not a GTR, it's a NSX. Oh, hello, I've just seen something sneaky. No, I haven't. Ignore that. Anyway, this is the standard NSX R with 290 horsepower. It's beautiful. I do love this car. It's a 90s supercar, really, and it's quite underrated. Listen to it, it's amazing. Right, let's grab the NSX R GT. There she is, the 2005 Honda NSX R GT, one of two cars available this week, the other one being the Super Sport Kurs Baker Roadster. Not really interested in that right now, I probably will drive that in my own time, but uh, yeah, I said Baker, I mean Barker, Barker? Yeah, anyway, let's grab the NSX R GT, I've already got it in my garage, so we shall hop on over, I've quite handily saved it my favourites. Right, so we have... The 1992 Honda, which is running 276 horsepower. The NSX-R, which is running 290. And then strangely, the very rare supercarish sort of modified NSX-R GT is running 276 horsepower. Less than this one. There's only five of these in the world, apparently. Playground Games are saying they couldn't locate one. They just sort of had to guess the specs. Now... I'm sure it would have more horsepower than this thing, and not the same horsepower as one that's 13 years older. But nonetheless, we'll jump in it, we'll, we'll have a look, we'll have a go. Right, upgrades and tuning, there are no body kit presets, so we can't put a wide body on this car. Let's check out body modifications first of all. Okay, so we don't get a front lip, we just get can yards and a ball's ring through the nose. I'm not going to do that upgrade. And spoiler, don't be the Forza 1, don't be the Forza 1. Hey, we get a cool little lip. I'm going to do that, actually. Let's make this thing what it should be, a lightweight racer. So we want some race tyres. I don't know if I want to do lettering. I might just do the normal plain ones. Make them wider. 245s, that'd be cool. 295s on the rear. Not going to change the wheels. I'm going to make them a little bit bigger, which is what I like to do. Keep the standard manufacturer wheels. Make that a little bit bigger. Lately, all DLC cars, I've noticed, are coming with track width, which is really cool. Oh my god, look how far that pops out. Boom! Nice, we're going to go there anyway. The 3.5 litre twin turbo hybrid. Nice, we're not going for a racing. Might keep it, let's keep it standard. I'm not adding four-wheel drive, I'm not adding any aspiration to it. I'm going to keep it normally aspirated, or naturally aspirated even. Right, power, we've got to add to that VTEC, surely. So we're going to rev to at least 9,500, adding 59 horsepower, 366 horsepower it takes us up to. Sports exhaust, I've already done sports air filter, because why wouldn't you? Can we get 500 horsepower? Well, yeah, easy peasy, 500 horsepower. Oh, I've had to sacrifice my race intake for a sport intake so I can get 500 horsepower bang on the dot. Boom, there we go, 500 pounds worth of weight saved. Doubled the horsepower up to 500 from 276. Lateral G's have gone up a bit. I I, yeah. <laughs> and class S1 900. I'm almost certain that I have overdone it with the upgrades. But I wanted to make this thing rather cool and rather quick. So, yeah. I don't know why they made it slower than the standard one. If it's a stripped out racy version. Um, and there's only five in the world. They should have thought about it a little bit I think. That's a really cool rear bumper. I'm just looking at that. It sticks out quite a lot. But I think it acts as a diffuser. Oh look at those exhausts. That's the business end of a NSX RGT. Yeah I said it right. Awesome. Now this roof scoop, what the hell is that? Is, does it do anything? Is it just an air intake to keep the engine cool? I think it is. It looks really weird though sort of sticks out the top. I like it, don't get me wrong, but it just looks a little bit odd. Anyway, let's take this thing for a run. 
Here we go. 500 horsepower, stripped out beast. E Tech, 86 miles an hour in second. I know I've gone quiet, but I'm just listening to it. Ooh, sounds good. Good brakes. Good brakes. Right, there's a speed camera to my left. Let's go chuck it through there. Bit of a drift. Let's go. Oh, it's controllable. So controllable. On these race tyres. 133.81. Nice. Let's go do a race in this beautiful NSX. I want something a little bit twisty and a little bit technical. So I think a race around Edinburgh is fitting for it. Something a bit street racy. I'm going to go with my favourite track in Edinburgh, the Edinburgh Station Circuit. I'm going to make a blueprint. We're going to go with Japanese style. Hopefully, we'll get the old NSX in there as well. Okay, we didn't get any other NSXs. It's just me and an NSX. We've got some Subarus and some Nissans and some Subarus and another Nissan. Some more Subarus. Right, NSX, let's see what you can do against these four wheel drive hoonigans. Off they all go, look. Right, race car mode. Can take it easy through here. Unleash the I was about to say unleash the horsepower, and then he broke my windscreen, so. Do it that time, though. A bit weird. Come on, NSX. What the hell happened there? Game's against me and my NSX. Oh my god. I haven't raced for a couple of days, so I'm a little bit out of practice. Right, the windscreen is really fragile on this thing. I can't race with a broken windscreen. Don't do it. Flying up the outside. Ah, I'm being sandwiched. Come on. The inside of the Nissan, up the inside of the Subaru. Push him wide, push him wide, push him wide. Nice. Right, fourth place. Not the cleanest of races, but we're fourth place. No, you don't. Break, 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 break. In, in. On a better note, this car is really, really good. Tune will be available for download, if you so please to go and download it. He's over-breaking for that corner. Why have you bought a rally car on a road race? Maniac. Oh, that's why. You're not getting through. Haha! <laughs> break, 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 break. Oh, I can corner so much better than him as he slides it around the corner. Nice. That's how we take the corner, Skippy. Come on. He's right on me now, though. Come on. First place is right there. Push, push, push. Don't understeer, please don't understeer. Good NSX! Unless he's got a load of power, which he's gonna have. Yeah, because we're in S1, aren't we? He's gonna have him under braking here, but I don't think I can. Not unless I just slam him to the side of him or something. Oh, I don't want to do that, so. Very good car. And across the line. Second place. I didn't really do the car justice on the third first lap. So there we go guys, there is a quick look at the 2005 NSX R GT. Yeah, I said it right again. Bit of customization, a bit of a race. This thing is popping and banging like crazy right now. If you are new around here, smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And head on over to my Facebook gaming page where I'm going to start live streaming very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Now hopefully, see you in the next one.